Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are going to work up one of my consistently popular patterns, the microwave bowl cozy. This bowl cozy is being made today because my teenagers cannot seem to uh, keep these in the kitchen, so we are working up some more. I'm glad that you are joining me. For this microwave bowl cozy, we are using a double stranded yarn because we want it to be nice and insulated against our hands. So here I have two different complementing colors of Dishy 100% cotton. I love this cotton, it's my favorite. You will also need a crochet hook in an eye five and a half millimeter and a stitch marker for working in the round. For this pattern cozy, we are starting at the center and we are going in rounds and working in a spiral. Once we get to the uh, top lip here we will start creating these corners as you can see these little holes here and then we will fasten off and it's done it's very easy very quick you only need about 130 yards total so here I've just got a couple scraps and I am ready to rock and roll of course you want to read through your pattern notes I won't do that with you today on video but we will crochet it together so let's go ahead and prepare our yarn now that I've gotten my yarn situated I am ready to start with a magic circle in order to do this, we are going to hold our yarn like so in between these bottom two fingers. I'm going to make an X over my index finger and my middle finger, just like this. Now I'm going to go under the right side with my hook and grab the left side and bring it through. I'm going to drop my index finger out so that I only have my middle finger left, and I'm going to chain one. Pull it just a little bit, and that is a magic circle. Now we will be able to pull this tight and cinch up our hole here. Um, if you would like to do an alternative method, that is perfectly fine. Now I'm going to do a single crochet in this in the circle. So one single crochet. And now I'm going to do seven half double crochets in the same. So one half double crochet, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we are not joining here. We are going to work in a spiral for the entirety of the pattern. So now we've got this yarn tail here. This looks crazy, wonky, whatever. We're going to take this tail. We're going to pull it like so. And now we are ready to continue by just crocheting into this first stitch here. So now we have finished round one. And honestly, it's a great idea if you want to grab the pattern just to cross these off as you make them. So I'm going to go ahead and cross off round one. So now we are on round two, and I'm going to do two half double crochets in each stitch around. When I make this first one, I'm going to go into this first one here, which was that single crochet. I'm going to go into this stitch here, make that first half double crochet of the round. And before I go any farther, I'm going to mark this stitch with a stitch marker so that I know that that is the first stitch. Now I'm going to do two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So I did one there, here's my second one. And now I'm going to do two in each stitch around. Pull my yarn. Here's my last stitch, so I'm going to do two in here, and I am done with round two. For round three, we're going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch or in the next stitch, and then one in the next stitch. So we'll do two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. So we're repeating that. All the way around. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. I'm going to do two in this first here. Mark the first one made since it's the first stitch of the round. So we've done one. There's two. 
and then we do one in the next, two in the next, and one in the next. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. one single half double crochet in the last stitch and we are done with round three get my fuzzy out of the way cross this off and for round four we're going to do two in the first or the next and then one in each of the next two so take out this stitch marker we'll do one mark it and two. And now we're going to do one in each of the next two stitches. Pull my yarn. And I'm going to continue doing one, two, and then one, one. Oops, I've got a hair in there. Don't you love that? Okay, we are down with, done with round four. We are ready for round five. This is going pretty quick, right? Pull my yarn a little bit. Go ahead and get situated. If you would like to, we can go ahead and weave in, pull the loop out. We can go ahead and pull this tighter from our magic circle. You can pull that as tight as you wanna go. Look at how tiny that got, right? And we can go ahead and weave in this end. Some people try or do not uh, like to use the magic circle because they feel like it's, um, not as secure or it's going to come apart. I will say that I am notorious, or not notorious, I guess known, for weaving in my ends extra thoroughly, and I just do. I just weave them in um, multiple directions, going around and around and around, especially for the magic circle, just because I really do not want this coming undone at all. So I'm just going to weave this around and around really securely or as securely as I can, right? And then we, that will be out of our way. That seems pretty good. Go ahead and clip that yarn there. And we are not going to have that tail in our way anymore. So we are ready to start round five. And it's essentially what we've been doing, except we're going to do two in one and then one in each of the next three. So we're just adding however many we do um, after that initial increase or repeat. So we're going to do the first one. 
mark it, do a second one in there, and now we're going to do one, two, and three. And now we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one, two, and one, two, You got to think it and you get mixed up, right? Two, three, there we go. And we are ready to finish round five with our final stitch here. And we are ready to move on to page two. And there are only two pages. How lovely is that? Now we are almost done. Look at how close we are. This is so great. Now for round six, we are going to do just what we've been doing, except we're going to do it in four stitches instead. And, you know, this is a great way in, you know, in general to increase um, in crochet when you're wanting to do even increases like this. So just how we've started here at the center, you could make any kind of coaster or anything like this, right? Just using this increasing technique. So we're doing two in the first, one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to repeat that around the entire piece. finished with round six. So for rounds seven and eight, we are just going to do a half double crochet in each stitch around, no increasing, nothing else, just two rounds of straight up half double crochet.
mark off number seven. And you will see that since we are not doing any increases, that these rounds will start to kind of cup up just a little bit. That's what happens when you stop adding those extra stitches every so often. We mark the first. Final stitch of round eight, and we are doing great. <laughs> All right, so for round nine, we are going to start making our corners. You see these little corners right here? We're going to start creating these corners by making a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet in the same stitch, and that is going to constitute a corner. So remove this stitch marker. And I'm going to place all in this first stitch here, this one right here, I'm doing a half double, which I'm gonna mark before continuing on. Pull my yarn so I don't have to worry about that. So I've got my first stitch there. I'm going to do a chain two and half double crochet in that same stitch. And that is now going to be my corner. I'm going to half double crochet in the next 11 stitches. Perfect. And now I'm ready to make another corner in this next stitch here. So I'm going to do my half double, chain two, half double in the same. And now I'm going to do that again with the 11 over here. And then we will make another corner until we have the four corners total. There's 11. Let's do a corner here. So one, chain two, second half double in that stitch. 11 more half double crochets. Oh, 
11. We'll do a corner here. And now we should have 11 stitches remaining so that we can get back to our first corner that we made over here. Beautiful. All right, so let's cross off round number nine here. And we are ready for round number 10. Sorry, let's get situated. We're ready for round number 10. So here's where I've gotten the most questions on this pattern is where to place this first stitch of the next round, right? So let's do this slowly, move this over so that we can see both the pattern and what we're doing. I'm going to remove my stitch marker now I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch, which is this one right here. Let's mark that again for continuity. Okay, so we've done half double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to make a corner in the chain space. So corner in this chain space, which is half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Now we're going to do a half double crochet in the next 13 stitches. And one thing that gets confused a lot as well is that this stitch here is the first half double crochet. So we need to make that first half double crochet of those 13 in this stitch right here. Okay, that's the number one question I get on this pattern. So I wanted to make sure we cover this thoroughly in these rows. So this will be stitch number one of 13 going across. So two, three, twelve, and thirteen. Now we're going to make a corner in the next chain space and we're just going to do this all the way around. Corner. And remember that this is our first half double crochet of this side. So it goes into the top of that stitch, just like so, for stitch number one. Twelve and thirteen and corner in that chain space. Oops. Okay, and remember this is the first. and 13 we have one more side to go so corner and 13 more stitches and we are ready to almost finish this bad boy off All right. 
right, there is our first stitch. Let's go ahead and cross off round 10. Now we're going to do round 11. Look at this, we've only got two more rounds. We're going to do a half double crochet in the next two stitches and that will get us over to this corner stitch again where we'll do the corner and then half double crochet in 15, corner, half double crochet in 15, corner, again, all the way around the entire thing. We are so close. So remove the stitch marker, one, reinsert and two and now we're going to do our corner same thing applies in this round and the final round is that this stitch right here is that first one of that side of the square that we are creating and this is a great way to create a corner on a square crochet pattern or a circle crochet pattern. So turn a circle into a square. This is the same general technique. Of course, we're doing the shaping for the bowl as well, but interesting nonetheless. corner 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 and our final leg of this round and then we only have one more round this is pretty quick pretty efficient little crochet pattern and I love that it doesn't really take a whole lot of yarn it takes less than one skein of this dishy cotton to make one if you were to pull from both ends of the skein so that you could double strand it and make a solid color or if you had two skeins of dishy you could almost get let me think uh, you could almost get three bowls right so we are getting there guys look at this this is looking great we have round 12 to finish so Let's take a look. We've done round 11. We're ready for round 12 and we're going to do a half double crochet in the next three stitches and that will again get us over to this corner because we are working in the spiral. It always shifts it over by one. Something important or interesting to know. So we're going to do our three stitches corner in the corner and we're going to do 17 corner, 17 corner, 17 corner and do the final stitches and we are almost done one and mark two three and now we're going to do our corner and we are going to do our 17 stitches to the next corner
If you have been a subscriber of Heart Hook Home for a while on as far as video tutorials go, you may notice that this companion video is much more lengthy than other companion videos I have done in the past. Um, on this one, I decided not to cut and splice um, when I'm doing what I consider to be a boring row where I'm just doing some regular half double crochets. I usually cut that part out, but I decided that I'm going to give this a shot and see if you like me actually making the entire thing or most of it um, in any rate together with you on the video. Um, of course you can fast forward and pause as needed which you could always do before but I'm curious to see if you like this method of me crocheting the entire thing with you if you find that helpful. I am planning on doing this more in the future based on feedback um, and also I do plan on including in the description of these videos if I continue to do this long form video method. I do plan on including timestamps in the description of the videos to say okay when I start these corners you need to fast forward to I don't know minute 21 59 or something um, so that you can see which portion you are needing your assistance on as far as a pattern companion video so I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that so please do let me know what you think if you find this long form video helpful um, because I was thinking I could you know honestly share the video in the long form such as this and then I could edit that further down for folks that do not require that but then that's a lot more work for me so I'm not sure I'm not sure which is why I always value feedback and I appreciate it so we are getting there getting there we've only got one side of our square left after this corner is made let's do a corner here And then we've got our one. We're going to do the remaining 14 stitches. Okay, we have finished our final round. Now in order to finish, we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and then slip stitch in each stitch until we get to the corner. And we're going to fasten off and weave in all of those ends. So remove that stitch marker for the final time. I'm gonna single crochet in this next stitch. And now we're going to slip stitch to the corner and I'm going to slip stitch in the corner and now I'm going to be able to clip this yarn I'm going to pull this straight on through thread our yarn needle and I'm going to kind of pull this to the back I'm going to go through these chains here just so that I can get it towards the back like this and kind of hide that a little bit better and now I'm going to come in this side and just kind of weave in these ends beautiful just kind of going all the way down there weaving in all these tails it's not really going to go anywhere, but you'd be surprised at how often this will probably need to be washed if you're having soup or something, or if you, like myself, have children in the house, that, which is fine, obviously, but um, it gets washed a lot. So make sure that these tails are nice and woven in, right? Pull that one just a little bit more. Go ahead and clip my yarn. Beautiful. And I am finished. 
check it out. Check it, check it out. Here we go. You can see that we've got these beautiful corners and our bowl is just going to sit in there so nice, right? I love it. And I love my color choices as well. I hope you all enjoyed this bowl cozy pattern and making this with me today. Again, please do let me know if you enjoy this long form video content or not. I look forward to crocheting more with you soon. Thank you for watching.